what is up guys welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i posted the video I'm sorry about that just been busy and all kinds of stuff going on with hunting season uh 40 some days away 40 days 38 something like that but we're, we're narrowing it down it's coming so quick i'm hoping you guys are pumped up for it i also want to let you guys know on our facebook page we have a huge contest going on we're giving away 100 bottles of antler grow in 30 days 25 bottles per week just head over to our facebook page whitetail obsession outdoors the video is pinned to the top of the page you'll see it on there just watch it. it's 30 seconds long just follow directions and you guys could you know have a chance of winning a bottle of antler grow uh, with that said today is not really a vlog it's more of a little test type thing i'm going to do um years ago when i started doing food plots uh it's been roughly 10 years ago um and then i kind of got out of it but now i'm back into it but back then in order to test ph we all we used to use was ph test strips that's what i used to use and a lot of people that i know did food plots that's that's all we use nothing fancy it's just a piece of paper you know and you dip it in some water and it gives you a result how accurate they are they'll get you close but they're definitely not going to get you dead on like a soil test that you send to a lab would but right now we have a test kit from antler king it's supposedly it's like super accurate i did buy some seed from them recently and a ph test strip uh came with it um i have no affiliation with antler king at all hashtag not sponsored but um we're out here at this plot and i know that this plot is a 7.0 ph is perfect Anytime you're planting food plots, you want a, at least a 6.0 to a 7.0. It's pretty optimal. Obviously, you want to get the best you can. So 7.0, the more nutrients it's going to be able to pull out of that soil into the plants, the better, better they taste, the healthier they are for the deer. This plot I tested back in February, and it was a 7.0. I went ahead and planted. turned out great. Well, now we're back here. I had it tested um, three weeks ago, two weeks ago still uh it was a 6.9 so it's still perfect so i'm going to take this test kit run it through with you guys see what i get on the test strips and then that way in the future if you guys are using um you know the test strips from antler king and um you know you don't want to send the the uh soil to a lab you can just do this quick you know something do it yourself type thing set up so let's see what we got all right guys here's the test strips um, it says we'll give you results in 20 minutes do it yourself it comes with four test strips the directions it's calling for uh, six to eight ounces of dirt put this dirt sample in a clean 16 ounce cup and you want to use distilled water you're gonna have to let it sit for 15 minutes mix it up and then we'll dip the strip in and see what we got it also has a chart on here for brown clay or black soils and then also for sandy soils which is a fertile uh, lime calculation to where it tells you what your current uh, pH is what your target pH is and you graph it over and it'll tell you how many tons of lime uh, that you need that you have to add and here's a scale here it goes from a 5.0 to a 9.0 we're looking for something this greenish right here all right guys now we went ahead added our dirt roughly eight ounces six to eight ounces of dirt now we have to do the same thing with water All right, guys, we filled eight ounces of dirt in this cup, six to eight ounces of dirt. Now we have to add an equal part of water to that. You just mix that up, kind of make a little mud pie there, and that, let that dirt settle to the bottom. And once that dirt settles to the bottom, roughly 15 minutes, then, you, then we'll go ahead and dip our pH test strip in and see what we got. And also, guys, so you can see, uh, this was this plot was tested by waypoint I'm not covering this up here because that's my number but you can see the soil pH was a 7.0 potassium was low and magnesium was low but we went ahead and corrected that um, with some fertilizer and, and stuff like that so right now we're just worried about the pH all right guys so it's been 15 minutes looks like everything kind of settled down a little bit here's our strip now we're going to dip this in this, shake it off, and then compare it to our, uh, to our chart that it came with. Let's see what we got. You guys can see that. So here is 
our results you guys can see the lighting there it's not doesn't look like it's anywhere close right this is like telling me I'd say between a 6 and 6.5 something like that it's kind of hard to tell there yeah 6 6.5 ah uh, well there you have it um, it's definitely not definitely not accurate compared to my actual lab tests and I know that the soil I've had two lab tests done on this plot and both of them the first one was a 7.0 the second one was a 6.9 so you can't tell me two lab tests were wrong compared to this but in a sticky situation you know what I mean you can't get a, a test done take buy a strip I think they're like $12 you can do it yourself like I said you you'll probably get you close like according to this it's like I don't know almost a point off which is could be huge you know what I mean so take it into your own hands decide what you want to do and go from there but it's definitely not not even close to to what I have well, that's it guys I'm gonna uh, go ahead and check my spy point on this post here pull the card on that and then we're gonna get out of here um, definitely recommend to you guys if you're doing soil samples get in that get get a uh, little baggie send it out to a lab you'll be 100% accurate with your tests um, compared to these but again if you are in a situation where I mean you just want something extremely rough idea then get the strips and it'll give you a rough idea uh, that's it guys thank you for watching if you did enjoy this video or you found this video helpful please smash that thumbs up button leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time